Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, the everyday non-expert here, and today I'm going to be talking about final order cutoff for orders due Monday, October 11th, 2021, and for October 12th, 2021 for DC from Lunar. Before I get started, I would like to ask you to please click that thumbs up button, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this, and also comment down below, let me know anything from here look interesting to you uh, anything that you uh, are gonna pick up that I said that I didn't uh, anything like that so yeah just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and without further ado let's get started first up we have image comics and it looks like we have a new book, A Thing Called Truth, number one. A chaotic LGBTQ plus road trip. A workaholic scientist who wants to save the world and a woman who fears nothing but discovering her own destiny find themselves mixed up in a chaotic on the road adventure through Europe. They manage to find the middle ground between their opposing ways of life, at least for long enough to complete their mission. And could this trip lead to an unexpected romance? I mean, I'm assuming it will lead to an unexpected romance. I mean, it seems like a regular buddy cop movie, uh, like Lethal Weapon. You have the, um, the like, work hard Murtaugh type, and then you have Riggs, uh, who fears nothing. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. Uh, it seems like it's been kind of done and nothing in this description makes me think that anything particularly fun or interesting is going to happen so I think I'm going to pass on that alright uh, next let's see no nothing nothing ah here's a number one Newburn number one it's actually by Chip Sadarsky who's doing the Daredevil run right now which is amazing uh, Easton Newburn is a private detective without loyalties investigating conflicts between rival crime factions while collecting enemies after stealing from his own mafia family but they aren't the ones who ordered the hit hmm. that sounds fun I don't know if, I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up though um, I may I don't, I don't know if I'm going to but it seems pretty good I may wait till kind of it goes I it may go in the back bin. I mean, Chip Sodarsky, his stuff just doesn't get optioned. So you can probably pick it up later on for cover, if not uh, less. That was cover A, and here's cover B. Shadecraft Trade Paperback, Silver Coin number six. I was really into those in the first couple, but you know, I just. There were so many books that I had to sort of drop some of the um, titles that I was reading. And that's it for Image. Next we have Dark Horse. Uh, looks like we have a Hellboy number one. I'm not going to be picking that up. Lucky Devil number four. Stranger Things winner special one shot. I actually just sold my Stranger Things lot. Um, and I even had the surprise comics um, variant in there. So they got one through four, free comic book day, and number one um, surprise comics variant for exclusive variant. Uh, I think I sold it for like. 35 bucks um, so I think they got a pretty good deal on it I had it listed for 50 for a while and then I changed it to 4250 and then they made an offer for 35 and I just took that all right um, I, yeah as per usual I'm not getting anything from Dark Horse IDW Marvel Action Classic Spider-Man 2-in-1. Is there a... 
to see if there's a key or anything. Nope. Okay. Thor's her cherry paper bag. And I did see the cut this cover. I think it's pretty a pretty lame cover. Alright. Marvel Comics. Here we go. Amazing Spider-Man number 78. Uh, I think that's Beyond is why it's called B-U-I. The daughters of the dragon are Spider-Man's trainers, but they're kicking his webby butt. But... It's even a scum of mission. Beyond sends them. Alright, so a new villain, Obsidian Star. So that's going to probably be a key. And here's cover B. Oh, that's very cool. That's a, that's a fun cover. Who did this? Wow. That's a pretty good piece of Moco. That's pretty good. Alright. Black Panther number one. Legends number two, Dark Ages number three. Okay, so it, apparently that Miles Morales that was on the cover of number two is a mix of like Venom and Carnage on Miles, um, and he wasn't in the book. So he could be in this one. I mean, anything with Apocalypse in it is just at least fun reading so I probably will pick this one up there's cover A and here's cover B it's kind of oh, oh I get it okay yeah that's probably a pretty cool cover um, it's like steampunk style because it's dark ages dark hold of wasp passing on dark hold of not even getting into that um Uh, these are boxes. I, that is super cool. But I don't want five of those. I want to just get one. Probably 12 bucks if they're 60. But I don't know if they'll sell it one. Alright. Uh, Moon Knight number five. Number three was big. I don't, I don't know. Let's see anything on Moon Knight five. Hidden enemy is revealed. So, maybe a key, first appearance of whoever this hidden enemy is. And here's cover B. Alright, Shang-Chi number 6, Spider-Woman 7, Team. Star Wars Doctor Aphra. Just see anything important happen here. Nope. Nothing that seems like it's going to be a key. Um, High Republic. Do, like, seriously, do people read all these different? I mean, there's Vader's Castle, High Republic Trail of Shadow. Like, there's so many off shoots of it. Of course not, where Chancellor Sonic introduces him to his new partner, Privatized Sean Holt, Sean Holt, probably. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, there's just so many. Um, at a certain point, I just kind of like, why you bother? Um, alright, so that's it for Marvel. Let's, uh... Well, let's check out Dynamite. I never really checked out Dynamite before. But I know there's stuff like the boys and stuff on here. Yep, Dynamite's just like I thought it was. Alright. Boom. Oh, 
this is cool. That is a sweet cover. Look at that. You know, a little showdown between the Power Rangers. So I went up to I think nine, and then I I didn't get. I just stopped. I it, honestly, uh, again, I had to limit myself to what I was reading, and I figured I'd just grab it and come back to it. Um, necessary Evil trade paperback. Alright, yeah, so it looks like it's going to have Mighty Morphin 40 through 47 and Go Go 21 through 28. And that's it for Boom, and I don't think I'm going to get any Boom. Alright, let's check out other craft comics and graphic novels, and then we'll go over to Lunar. To check out DC. Looks like Tinian's signing all these books. Let's see, Department of Truth number one, Tinian sign. It doesn't look Just a raw copy, I guess, with a signature on it. It could be worth it. It's 60, because I mean, what's the book worth? I mean, you have a number one. I don't know if it would be considered the first printing, though. Maybe. Um, and then his signature. So it could be worth more, I suppose. Joker number one. Tinian sign. Mm, no. Knighted number one. Let's see. I mean, you just obviously the iconic cover. Homage. In this action packed adventure set in the universe of the Resistance, Greg Hurwitz. Known for Legends of the Dark Knight, Vengeance of Moon Knight, Mark Teixeira, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and I think he was on the Texas Rangers. It was a little joke. And Brian Reber, X-Men Legacies. Did they? Looks like there's a typo. Introduce a mass vigilante for the 21st century. Bob Wright is a hapless bureaucrat as bad luck streak comes to a crescendo when he kills the city's masked vigilante, the knight. Oops, now Bob is forced to take on the mantle of the legendary hero before the city descends into chaos. Good thing he's got the knight's former butler assistant to show him the ropes. I think that's pretty cool. I may check that out. I could see this being an Amazon or a Netflix show or something. There's a couple number ones, but I'm just not. Don't see that. I'm not really that interested in those. Alright, that's it. So let's go ahead and go over to Lunar to check out DC before I let you go. And here we are on Lunar, showing the books due on October 10th, or the FOC. Alright, we have Arkham City, The Order of the World, number two. No, thank you. Batman 116, anything interesting happen here? The only thing standing between the insane, heavily on Peacekeeper. And go off the Dark Knight, season one. Mama Truly Run. Comes from a chapter of Fierce Day. Chapter 
doesn't look like there's going to be um, a key or anything in there. Following Mongols of Raisin attack on Earth, Superman's world has been turned upside down on Queen Atlanta's service realm. That sounds fun. That does sound, that sounds really fun. Well, let's take a look. Batman Adventures continue for me. Batgirl decides to infiltrate the campaign herself. How's my... Well, nothing. Jeez, so many Batman titles. What are they doing? This looks really cool. That's a really good cover. Fearful is turning around. Against each other, Tim Drake and his manipulators. I don't think I saw anything in there. Jesus, basically the whole comic. Crescent Level 6, Dark Knights of Steel. Okay. So it's them in the medieval world. That might be fun. Tom Taylor. Okay. Did some pretty good stuff. What's this cover? That's cool. Check that out. That looks cool. Oh, it's like a card. Speed, strength, joke. That's awesome. Alright. Anything happen here? John does test on the John. Could Lord DC like oh, if I died, okay. Okay. Nothing this is a really cool cover. Infinite Frontier, Justice League Incarnate Defense, the multiverse from Dark Side across the uh, China's Flash from R Zero, Captain Carrot for what? Could be um, first appearance of a bunch of new characters, I guess. Might be worth picking up, who knows. Robin in Batman number one. Crime fighting dynamic duo, always one step ahead of the criminals. Where's it? 
Uh, this is the story of a young Dick Grayson, newly orphaned, struggling to find. Oh! That's cool! Jeff Lemire and Dustin Wynn. You know, I, at $5.99, I might pick this up. That's really cool. And I like that old school cover. I feel like that matches what they're going for. Don't like this very much. I mean, Jeff Lemire did it, but I don't like it. This one is, this one's cool. Although, doesn't this sort of look more like a, like a Damien Wayne? Or maybe Jason Todd? I don't know. I don't think it looks like a, I don't think Dick Grayson would have that look on his face. And... The one to 50, that's... A lame one, one for fifty. This is a cool cover. They could have made it even cooler, but still pretty cool. And I'm passing it on Swamp Thing. Anything cool happen in Teen Titans? Academy? I dropped off after I think three or four. Ooh, it's Halloween. Red, they still don't know who Red X is. That's why I dropped off. Like every issue is like, who's Red X? Who's Red X? Who's Red X? All right, everyone. That is my um, review of the FOC books. I'm gonna go through real quick, show you what I'm interested in picking up. And while we're on Lunar, let's just look at the DC. I am going to pick up Robin and Batman number one. Um, I don't think there was any. Oh, I am going to pick this up, the Steel. I may pick up Cover B just because that Joshua Milton is so freaking cool. And that is it for Lunar. Um, let's go back over and check out the other selection of books to see what I'm gonna grab from there okay here we are let's check it out um, I might get new burn if I have the budget for it but other than that not get anything from image or dark horse or IDW and Marvel I'm getting spider-man 78 because it could be a key with the new appearance of that villain I'm getting dark ages number three in case uh, that new symbiote Miles Morales shows up in there. And I think that was it for Marvel. Yes. And then Dynamite, not getting anything from there. We don't need to go through those again. All right, boom. Uh, I probably will get a couple of the FOC variants. Those are just sweet. Um, and then for the everything else, I don't think there was anything that I was interested in from here. Oh no, there was. Uh, this one, Knighted. I'm gonna grab that one. So that's it. I may do a top 10 video. Uh, might do top five with some honorable mentions based on I think what I just said to you guys. I don't know if I can do a top ten. So, all right, well, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks again for checking out this video. Again, before you leave, please click that thumbs up button to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel so you can see all my videos like this, so you know what books you might want to get and uh, see kind of why I think some might be key and uh, you can order a few more if you want to spec on them. Uh, FOC is the only way you can really guarantee, nothing in life is really a guarantee, but that's as close as you're going to get is ordering multiple of your FOC if you want to spec on something and click that notification bell and set it to all so that you can see these right with the drop so you have the longest time possible in case you did want to do some additional research uh, yourself which is what I always recommend and uh, comment down below. 
What did you think of my picks? What did you think of my analysis? Was I way off on anything? Was there anything I scrolled straight past that you're super excited for? Let me know in the comments section down below. And thanks again for checking out this video. Until the next one, bye.